everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over the latest cloth and paper sub box together. I haven't even opened this guy yet and uh, I think this is the November box. So um, mine did arrive a little bit late. I have noticed the packaging is smaller than the previous box. Um, I was watching another um, person I'd like to watch on YouTube. Her name is Petunia Rose. So I'm going to give her a little shout out because um, if you guys are interested in goal setting and planning, she has some really cute planner stuff going on and she does uh, cloth and paper sub box unboxings as well. So um, go take a check out at her channel. Uh, but without further ado, ooh, ah. Look how beautiful this is. When did this change, you guys? What is this even? Okay, I like a lot. Look what we have here. So the box has changed and everything is in this bag. That is so cute. I have never seen that from cloth and paper. They used to have their little like cardboard insert where everything was placed nicely in the box. So we have the month of cards, it's almost like a bookmark. We have the palette for the colors, which I love. These are so beautiful together. I love these neutral tones. Never was a neutral girl, um, but I, I really like these tones. Okay, and this says Vavra dans la, la Luxe, <laughs> la Lou, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't speak French, but this is the journaling card. And then this is the what's inside the box. Okay, so I'm excited for this one, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so we have the, ooh, all the goodies, all the goodies, guys. So excited. I kind of like this bag. I really do, actually. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to keep everything. Um, so usually, like, <laughs> this is Christmas 2022 and I'm I do apologize in advance usually I do a giveaway at Christmas this year I am not doing a giveaway um it might maybe something will come up um uh, in the spring I, I haven't really thought about it but I usually go through my washi tape I go through my stash of like supplies and stuff and I do have a lot of post-its that I'm not going to probably be using in the near future so that could be something <laughs> potentially that would be a giveaway but um, yeah, it won't be right now because I've just got so much in my mind. If you guys don't know, I am like nine months pregnant and uh, I had an ultrasound today and my baby is weighing in two and a half pounds overweight and um, I still have three more weeks to go before the delivery date. So yeah, I'm a little nervous because that brings me to nine pounds um, and that's still two weeks early. That would be at 38 weeks delivery. So we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, let's take a look at what we have. I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. What's with this pen? It's like this rando pen. Um, these are the pens, but there's a rando pen. <laughs> and I think I like he. I like the case. It looks so space, space rific. It looks so like, I don't know, belonging in Star Trek or something. Let's see. How should we open this pen? Maybe there's instructions on how to open it. Plus, my fingers are really hurting because it's been so dry and cold here. It's hard to open anything. Ooh, this thing is huge. Okay, um, I'm going to need paper to try all these on. So let's just try it on that journaling card because I, I don't think I'll be using that. Wow, I guess I have to peel this off first. Um, ooh. It's a 0.7, you guys. I love 0.7s. This is my jam. Love it, love it, love it. It's called the Bay Oak Soft 0.7. I love this. I love it. Um, I really do like my Pentels. My um, <laughs> my um, aluminum alloy pens are really heavy and they're metal. But sometimes it's nice to have a nice light pen too. And this one's really nice because it has like the grip thing. Ooh, love it. Let's break into the other ones. Like literally breaking into it. Ripping it open. Okay, so here you only get four. So that must count as the fifth one. 
but I am I'm okay with that because that pen is amazing. All right, let's see what we have. Um, this is it says a four color gel more plus ink. Does that mean it's a point four? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't like those. Too fine for me. Okay, this one is a point five of something, and it's a needle tip. I love needle tip. I can manage to do point five. I don't mind those but I really appreciate the needle tip pens. So that one I'll probably get rid of. Um, this one, it's Caco Green. Again, a 0. 0.5, usually they're always 0. 0.5. This is a regular pen tip. Not as smooth as the black one, but that's okay. And what's this? A rollerball pen, 0. 0.38. That's disappointing, but my husband might like it. It's blue. He likes blue rollerball pens. I'm going to give that to him because he might like that. I don't do blue gel ink. All right. Perfect. So I'm pleasantly surprised by these two. Those are like my two favorites. So I'm going to put these aside because I'm going to add them to my cloth and paper pen collection. I have a bazillion. These two are going to go to my husband. Let's see what else is in the bag. Okay, so we've got some undated calendar sticky notes. So, I mean, that calendar is pretty tiny. I could use them as a countdown. You could put like the dates of whatever calendar it is or like you simply have like the month and then you write your little calendar dates in and then move that from page to page in case you need to reference on the go. Um, I technically have a wall calendar right beside my desk. I do work from home. I don't work on the go, but I could see how these would be useful. So you just write in your month and then, I mean, I have ordered a few um, inserts from various places. I think I've got something coming from Heather B. Co. And I've got like a year at a glance and stuff. So I don't know if you have a planner and you have your year at a glance and you've got your future calendars. Don't know if you need these, but I mean, they could come in handy. Now we have our minimal shape stickers. I'm just going to open these quick. I just messed up here. I almost like threw out a whole bunch of stickers without realizing it. So first of all, these are like the holiday seasonal colors, right? So you've got your Sedona, Pistachio and the Angora. Um, well, I like these. They probably won't show up on my planner. So this is like that kind of beige color, but I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on like a white planner or off-white planner. These are the green color and these are the Sedona. So these are the tear teardrop uh, drop stickers and um, you get like a whole sheet of tiny ones. You get a sheet of medium, you get a sheet of large, and then you get two sheets of each color with um, a combination. So you get tons of stickers. And now if you guys remember the last few boxes, um, we had the dots in the last box, which were different sizes. And then before that, that was the reinforcement type stickers, which I don't really like. And well, I don't mind these, like I could see myself using them for YouTube icons or something in my planner that's in here. I, I wouldn't use these all throughout the year. Like I, I'm getting this box today as I'm filming this video. It's actually the 13th of December and my month is almost half gone for December. I would use these for December, but I'm not going to be using them. Like I wouldn't use them as like a colorful red and green theme throughout the year. So uh, I think what I would do is if I was to do like a, a green theme one time, I'll just use like the green ones. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll probably keep them, but the big ones don't really make much sense to me, but I don't mind these ones, probably for like YouTube icons or something. So I guess we'll see if I can use those. Okay, so everything else is in this big package here. I'm just gonna get rid of this case because I don't need that. Okay, so first we have our little um, cards here. So this says, you don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. And then this says action. Vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. And then you have more sticky notes. So these are the pill ones where you can have a title here and then write down whatever you need. These will come in handy. I like that they're neutral. I like that um, you can actually see on them as opposed to like the dark brown ones I had before. We also have this clip. So this is the cloth and paper clip. I think you can use it to hold a pen too. It's a magnetic clip, kind of like the Ollie Block clips. 
I have something kind of like it from the last, last one. It was that little sh tiny short um, black one, but this is much, much bigger. So you can put like a pen in there. We have some implementation bundles. Let's take a look and see what this is all about. This might be something I'll use in this uh, setup that I have going on. Okay, so an act or instance of implementing something, the process of making something effect active or effective. Um, there's a lot of reading on here. Um, okay, so impersonal implementation ledger. So these are just like goals. Yeah, this would probably be like a monthly thing, like a little journaling prompts monthly. And then, is that all it is? Let's see. Then the very last page is the five aspects of personal implementation. What did you learn? So I don't know about this so much. Um, this looks like a more of a reflection thing, but you only get two of them. So I don't really know how I would use those. But again, this is more of a goal thing. I just kind of running out of room in my planner for goal stuff because I feel like cloth and paper has already sent out a lot of goal planning material. But yeah, so this might be something that I would add on to what I already have in all of my inserts from cloth and paper for maybe just an entire year because I don't want to use, I don't want to use one of those for, you don't get that many. So yeah, I might just use one of them and as an add on to what I have. Let's take a look at the dashboard. I do like cloth and paper dashboards. This one's off white. I'll probably use it in my new binder for January. Um, it says implementation. Implementation is hard, ideas are easy. Which I suppose for the big picture for a lot of people that is true because it's easy to have the idea but it is hard to follow through for a lot of people. You've got this dashboard, um, a today dashboard for this agenda. So the last year when Cloth and Paper had their um, coiled notebook agenda, that was what I did a giveaway on. I gave it away to one lucky winner. And um, this year I'm going to be using it in my business, I think. And I'll show you the reason why once I open it here. Okay, so this one, I believe it's horizontal. And um, I, I remember using the inserts. So Cloth and Paper had sent out inserts in the subscription boxes last year that were horizontal. And this is kind of how I planned. And when it comes to like months like right now that we're in for December for me, super, super busy. And so um, I'm not really sure about this as much. Like I am using this layout right now in the inserts that, um, that we have um, that came for 2022. So I've been using this, putting my video list here for the month and then um, putting my videos on the monthly calendar, putting my blogs down here. And then on each of these days, I would put which videos I had to like film, which ones had to be posted. Um, it does seem like a little bit of overkill because I have my Franklin planner. It might just be my like pre-planning calendar. I don't know because I also still have my digital one as well for my business. So again, it kind of seems a little um, like overkill to me. I think that's why I gave away the last one because I figured why. But I mean, it's already December 13th. And uh, I would have to give it to somebody that I, I knew, like somebody that was close to me. And I don't know anybody in my close family circle that plans. So like literally nobody, nobody plans in my family except for me. So this starts Boxing Day. So I'm just going to put it here. And this might just be like a cute little notebook. I was talking about um, being concerned with my, my planning system. I wasn't sure how I wanted to implement things this year because I feel like while I love having all of my planning stuff together for personal and business, I love having it in my classic Franklin planner. I find that I'm stuffing it really full that my binder won't close properly and I don't want to wreck my binders and I have so much stuff in there that it's hard to find and if I wanted to be easier to find I would have to add more tabs which again I don't have room for or cut out like an entire section like my home section or my health section but I need some of those things so 
yeah, I haven't quite decided what I wanted to do. I was playing with the idea of breaking my 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 personal section into a classic binder and then my my business into a separate classic binder or putting one of those in a compact binder. I haven't decided um, or simply maybe just using this for my business and then getting rid of business altogether in my Franklin. The problem is, is that I've got lots of blog ideas and stuff and this doesn't really give you extra writing room extra paper or anything to write on. So there's like contact lists at the back. You have one page of notes and that's it. And then one page of website passwords. So it doesn't really give me the extra space. I would have to use lots of sticky notes and I don't really want to do that. So um, yeah, I haven't quite, well, I guess, I guess you get notes at the back of each, of each month, but I don't know if that's good enough, but I mean, it could technically be my work planner. That might make sense because um, but I do have some inserts I ordered from Fancy Plans Co. for my Franklin binder. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with all the details of what I'm going to do for my planning system. I just wanted to show you guys this um, new collection of items I got from Cloth and Paper. And uh, FYI, this is a half letter size. So um, you'll remember me saying that you cannot buy half letter size. That it is hole punch for Franklin Covey. They come disc punched. So um, I am talking about my Franklin Covey setup for 2023. I've been doing lots of planning with that. Um, this is a year overview goal inserts from Cloth and & Paper. And I'm going to show you guys how I maneuver this situation into something that will fit my Franklin Covey classic. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the video. It's going to be in the third installment of my goals video for Franklin Covey before I actually post my binder reveal slash kind of flip through and like show you the different sections. So that'll be interesting. So check that out. But this becomes unpunched. And the only way you can get your um, half letter size from cloth and paper unpunched is by ordering from the subscription boxes. Problem is you don't know what you're getting. Um, so again, these are completely random. I don't even know how useful this is. The personal implementation ledger, but it's just to kind of clarify your goals, I think. So Anyway, that is it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe, click on the bell notification button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.